Welcome to this video tutorial explaining all the new functions found in the 1.10 firmware upgrade for the VT3. This upgrade gives you twice the patch memory, improved character level balance, the possibility to send and receive controller data and control the pitch with MIDI notes through USB, as well as several other new setting options. Update procedure. Hold down the robot and two buttons and turn the power on. Connect your computer to the VT3's USB port. Open the VT3 drive showing up in your computer. Copy the VT3 underscore upd dot bin update file into the VT3 drive. Eject the USB drive. Disconnect the USB cable. Press the lit one button to start the update procedure. When all buttons blink, Turn the VT3's power off and on again. The update is now ready to be used. Firmware 1.10 new functions. 1. Data backup restore. You can now back up the patches of the VT3 individually. Hold down the 1 button and switch on the power. Connect your computer to the VT3's USB port. Open the VT3 drive showing up in your computer. To back up your patches, copy the files in the VT3's backup directory to your personal computer. They are named VT3 underscore patch, followed by their respective patch numbers. To restore your patches, put your backup files into the restore directory of the VT3. After the procedure is complete, eject the USB drive. Disconnect the USB cable. Turn the power off and on again. The operation is now completed. 2. User memory extended. The number of patch memories have been increased from 3 to 6. To access or save to patches numbers 4 to 6, simply hold the manual button while doing the usual operation. Number 3. MIDI implementation. Note. The pitch of the VT3 can now be controlled by MIDI notes through USB MIDI just like on the classic vocoder. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Program change. You can now select the patch number with program change messages. Control change. When working with door, parameter editing by control change comes handy. The following control changes can be sent and received through USB MIDI. Control 12 is pitch, 13 is format, 16 is mix balance, 17 is robot, 18 is bypass button, 19 is bypass pedal, 91 is reverb level. Number 4. Low cut filter for the microphone input. Hold down the robot button and turn the character knob. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This adds a low cut filter in steps of 50 Hz to the microphone input. The filter is applied to both the dry and wet signals. 5. Microphone noise gate threshold and switch. Hold the bypass button and turn the character knob. This sets the noise gate threshold. The higher the setting, the higher the threshold. All LEDs off means the noise gate is turned off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and then. This sets the overall level of the effect sound in the USP output. Hold the manual button and turn on the power. Hold the bypass button and turn the character knob. Press the bypass button to save the setting. 7. Demo mode. Hold the manual button and turn on the power. Hold the manual button and move the reverb slider. This sets the number of minutes to demo mode. Press the bypass button to save your setting.